This is Jesus Manuel Menagarza. I hope you're doing fantastic wherever you're at. In this video, I'm going to show you my setup for hooking up for full hookups, you know, water, sewage, and electricity at an RV park. Uh, of course, I'm going to be leaving a list below, various uh, products and services below that you can check out if you have any comments, questions, or interest. Feel free to contact me. Let's turn around the camera and uh, start this video. So, of course, uh, across the way they're playing some uh, country music. I'm not a big fan of country music, but it's pretty loud. Over there, some folks are uh, barbecuing. Very nice. Just rained for quite a while here. For about an hour and a half, it rained. It's a pretty good thunderstorm, a lot of good wind. So, of course, the number one thing you want to do is connect to uh, electricity. And you do need a, a power regulator. And one of the better ones on the market is... Uh, the Power Watchdog by Hughes Autoformers. This is a 30 amp uh, version. It's called Smart Surge Projector EPO. So I connect this first. Of course, I have the fuse off. Connect it first and flip it on. And then it turns the white face and it says, hey, everything's copacetic. And then you can connect your electricity and then you can connect it to your RV. So I also have this lock here. It's a master lock, so I can lock it into, uh, you know, slow down the crooks in case they want to steal my uh, surge protector. At least slow them down a little bit. Just a tiny bit, a little itty bitty 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 bit. Okay, so there goes the wire. There's the wire. Let me follow it. And it goes right there I also have an extension for this cable in case uh, you know the, the hookups are far away so far I've had no issues with hookups I've done about a mm, almost a eight or nine or ten times I've gone camping over the last uh, six months in my new travel trailer so here's your your hookups right here is where you connect your uh, city water let me go around over here this little flexible wire sort of relieves the pressure so this doesn't uh, break or have any issues you don't want this to break of course it's a hassle fixing that so this is a little pressure and this comes as part of this little uh, taste pure RV water filter kit. Very nice. This little kit here, this little filter, and this right here are uh, basically make the water taste a little bit better. It's not a two-stage filter system. It's not a three-stage filter system. It's a modest, you know, filter system. Right here I have a very nice uh, water pressure regulator. So right here I have a water pressure regulator over there. I have an electrical regulator. So this is a water pressure regulator. You can adjust it by just moving this little dial here. And I have it set for about 40. You can set it up to 50 if you want, but typically, you know, I just set it for 40. And it's pretty good. So This relieves the stress and strain from this. And this is pretty heavy. And this is pretty heavy and it goes down. Right down there and it goes over here. And of course it hooks up right there to the water. Very nice, very nice hooks up to the water. Let's talk about sewage next. So I have my sewage, uh, my Rhino Flex sewage. And grays on the left, blacks on the right. I did to the, uh, to earlier uh, yesterday, I had the uh, the gray opened, but the stink from the sewer was going up there and making my uh, restroom uh, a little bit funky, okay? So I decided just to close it and every day just, you know, open it up and drain it and then close it. 
makes it a lot simpler. So this is a 10 foot section. And it has an L bracket. Also there's a donut for, for some of you, but with this L bracket you can screw it in pretty good. But I also have a donut in case I need that. And then I have this uh, system here that sort of gradually uh, creates an incline. So when you're doing your uh, dumps, it's uh, gravity does all the work. And gravity never fails you unless you're in outer space. And there's issues, okay? But we're not in outer space. So right here, there's my... Uh, this just screws in that, that orange ring right there. It screws right in there. And uh, many contemporary RV parks have that uh, facility for that to happen, okay? Very nice. Very, very, very nice. So what do you think? Here's my little setup. It's pretty simple. And again, if you have any comments, questions, or suggestions, or again, feel free to contact me. I've been doing this for over six months, uh, camping everywhere from uh, Indiana to Illinois to Missouri, quite a bit in Arkansas, quite a bit in Texas, and uh, plan to do some more in California, etc., etc. So this has been Asus Manuel Menegares. I hope you're doing fantastic wherever you're at. I'm at uh, Port O'Connor RV Park in Port O'Connor, Texas. Excellent fishing over here. A-plus fishing. If you have a boat, this is a great place to go fishing. And this campground, I give it a solid A for cleanliness. Uh, excellent Wi-Fi. I'm really impressed by the Wi-Fi. I am totally, utterly, utterly, utterly impressed by the Wi-Fi. I have had no problems streaming movies, the news, various programs, etc. And uh, etc. etc. Of course the only complaint I have is that people next door always every time I go to these Texas RV parks are playing country music and I'm not a big fan of country music. You wanna play some Santana? You wanna play some salsa music? You wanna play some classical music? You wanna play some jazz? Maybe I can uh, deal with that but country music after a while you know you can only hear so many stories of some person losing their wife their dog or their job or whatever I only can stand it so much don't forget to like subscribe and share if you have the time and please leave your kind and super friendly comments below abajo muchas gracias again leave your kind and super friendly comments uh, below, abajo. Muchas gracias. And check out my Patreon page, patreon.com slash slash JMM Garza. Again, uh, patreon.com slash slash, not just one slash, JMM Garza. Again, I'm at, uh, where am I? I'm at Port O'Connor RV Park. A very nice RV park indeed. Bev has been very professional and very pleasant and very nice. I really, really appreciate it. Fantastic folks here. Uh, my only complaint is the constant blaring of country music. Do you like country music? Do you like country music? <laughs> so uh, don't forget to like, subscribe, and share. This has been Asus Manuel Menagarza. Gracias. Adios. Bye-bye.